<laughs> Anyways, all right. Let's. Uh, hello. Um, my name is Dave Lacuna, or David Art. I'll be doing a biblical perspective on the anime Kaiju Number Eight. Um, <clears throat> I uh, I don't know. Like, um, I'm only, I only watched the first six episodes, so um, and it's pretty exciting. I uh. I have yet to watch the, what is it? Is it 13? Oh, no, last, toast, last the last six episodes. Uh, <clears throat> here's the overview if you, if you want to follow along. But, uh, I, uh, oh, and, uh, I don't, I don't, I don't really, yeah. Eh, it's whatever. But anyways, so it's interesting because, uh, oh, I was searching uh, if anyone else did a uh, Christian, for Christian review on uh, Kaiju 8. And it seems like there's a Christian anime podcast channel. Um, I have not watched it yet. I'll, I'll watch, I'll finish it. And um, <clears throat> when I finish the anime, hopefully this, uh, this fellow, this fellow will, uh, uh, I guess my oh, fellow brother in in Christ uh, uh, has uh, has a uh, uh, I hope I hope they uh, they mention what I'm talking about, but I'll just uh, present my perspective. I guess it's a uh, it's no big deal, but uh, yeah, so. What I noticed first is that uh, the the story of uh, David and Jonathan, like, um, hmm, sorry, uh, this is a uh, like uh, I could add, I can edit the video and do and uh, re redo it or really formulate my thoughts, but I, I I'm not. I'm not too picky. I, I I like first form videos, yeah. Because I'm looking at my format and I'm deciding which one to do first. Um, I guess it really doesn't matter. Um, so yeah. So the first thing I mentioned, I uh, noticed, is a uh, Kafka. And what's funny? I just find it funny that in my in the main game Honkai Star Rail, there's a person named Kafka, but the Kafka is a female. But, uh, 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 and, no, I feel full. I just ate. <laughs> but anyways, I, I noticed that, uh, Kafka, like, uh, oh gosh, I, like, I'm sorry again, uh, to, that I'm trying to formulate my thoughts. It's hard, really, it's really hard. Uh, so I'm praying for, you know, for, uh, I guess, guidance right now. Because there's just uh, so many... So many thoughts and ideas are going in my head right now. But uh, I'll try to do step by step and hopefully this video won't be too long. But eh, it's uh, like whatever happens. So yeah, the uh, Kafka, like, I, okay, it's because here, these are all connected. So if you notice that, uh, like, uh, <clears throat> What I love about Kafka is that I really relate to him with the story of David and his uh, best friend, uh, Jonathan. Actually, yeah, his best friend, Jonathan. Because uh, it's interesting because, uh, like, oh, I might as well put, uh, uh, yeah, humility. Um, humbleness. Like, uh, humble. Yeah. Because, like, even if Kafka got the power of the kaiju, like, he still, he doesn't become prideful. He actually, he goes through the selection process of being, a, uh, I guess, I don't know what you call them, the hunters or uh, assassinators or soldiers or whatever, whatever they call them. Like, uh, he goes through it, uh, you know, but, like, uh, here I go mentioning, you know. I okay. I need to. I need to be patient. So yeah. 
Gosh, but it's so exciting. Like, that's why I'm talking fast. Oh, I think I'm talking fast. I don't normally talk like this fast. But uh, it's just so exciting to me because uh, I just find it so interesting that uh, Kafka was still able to, I guess, uh, stay, stay like his own... Like, he, he doesn't become prideful in his power of kaiju. Like, uh, I think that's really great about the anime is that... Uh, he like um <clears throat> like he really he really works hard i guess like uh he doesn't get the power to his head he knows he can use it at any time but he still prefers to stick to his humanity if you could say so he's being humble in humility um <clears throat> the next thing is about uh hmm let's talk about I guess the whole, uh, yeah. So this encapsulates a whole bunch of things, the divine timing. And if you, as you get to know more about Christ and get to walk with God as time like uh, keeps, keeps running, you'll notice that a lot of animes, a lot of shows, movies, and life in general, most of it is uh, ordained by a certain opportunity from divine timing. And when I mention this, it's uh, because Kafka, even though he works hard and trains, like he trains diligently, like he was preparing for the selection process, he still, he still ended up one of the lowest, uh, like in the physical fitness test. But it's, uh, but uh, Ichikawa, or I think, yeah, Ichikawa was... Uh, but he told uh, Kafka that, uh, like, it's okay, like, uh, because the 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 crop of this year's uh, new recruits are really up there, and coincidentally, even the kaiju are gotten are are getting stronger and more anomalies. So I just find it that uh, there's a like great timing that Kafka became a kaiju, and. Uh, I guess you can call it like a divine timing because, uh, like, I'm, I'm I, I don't know what's the future of this anime going to be. I don't really read the manga. I don't really read manga in general. But uh, if that kaiju picked that person to be like, I guess, uh, one of the saviors of the human race, um, that'll be interesting. Like, uh, <clears throat> I meant like. Uh, there was oh gosh it was in the top of my head now i lost it it was like uh yeah brave brave that uh um, gundam anime that brave or mecha anime brave let's see yeah bang bang braver uh yeah shout out to uh gigak for uh, uh recommending this anime and his video it's a really nice uh, anime but uh <clears throat> it's interesting, but uh, like uh, how they choose certain types of people, and I don't know, you know, I I like to imagine that God chooses certain people for certain for certain uh, purposes for because of their certain character and their past, and this goes back to the story of David and Jonathan that uh, David like uh, was uh, a shepherd boy. Uh, um, for most of his, or uh, yeah, for uh, his early childhood, um, Jesus Christ was a carpenter for in the beginning of his uh, years. Um, so he, so Christ can really use uh, your past and your, I guess you can say your your training and your habits in the past to redeem you in the future. And I really think that. Because even though uh, Kafka, it was like 32 or 33, I think the dub anime said 33, but the subs was 32. I, I don't remember, but if I, I think there was, it was something like that. I switched between dub and sub and to see which one sounds better. And I looked at the cast, and honestly, I couldn't, they couldn't, uh, I, I wasn't really too impressed. So I just stuck to the Japanese version because... Uh, I think it's more natural, but I, I think dub or sub was fine in this anime. One of the this is off topic, by the way, but the 
I really wish I watched solo leveling as a dub watcher. I made the mistake of watching sub because that was my ha- that's my habit. I usually watch sub anime, but uh, solo leveling has a really great dub cast, especially the main character. And it, I just watched his uh, performance, uh, and it was just so amazing. I really wish, uh, like uh, in the Japanese version, uh, they say uh, instead of arise, it's uh, okiro or uh, like get up. But uh, in the English version, it's like arise, <laughs> like uh, so so cool. But anyways, that's off topic. That's not that's for free. <laughs> uh, but anyways, so yeah, there's the divine timing. Like even. Uh, you know, I you know, I, I kind of got sad because I knew what's gonna happen to uh, Kikoru, Kikoru or Shinomiya. And like, uh, it's uh, I really felt her pain by uh, trying to be the perfect uh, soldier, I guess, or perfect uh, daughter for her her father, and it just uh, it just shows that uh, like even if you're doing your best, sometimes things don't work out. And luckily, by uh, divine timing, that uh, Kafka was uh, there to uh, protect her. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, the the topic of human perfection, like, uh, just know that God just wants you. He does, like, he there's a, he wants you to beat your own standard, I guess, in a way that uh, aligns to his uh, character, but. You don't really have to work so hard because, uh, like, I won't say you don't have to work hard, but I guess what I'm trying to say, no matter how hard you work, you can never get into heaven or you can never really connect with God by showing him your hard work. When in reality, your hard work is nothing to the greatness of God. Um, So it's just interesting to see how humans would uh try to achieve something and uh for like for like a human master when uh your own your only true master is a uh, god himself so and i think it's really nice that uh, kafka saved uh shinomiya because uh like he like that's the thing like uh he he recognizes that uh, Shinomiya was doing her best, and he uh, complimented her. He congratulated her, and that's what I love Kafka as a main character because he has like this humility and humbleness to him that uh, you know he can say, "Oh, you're you're weaker now. I have the power of a kaiju." But no, he 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 recognizes the like the effort of others and maybe that's because of his past uh, as being a uh monster dissector or whatever but i like to believe uh, his, his personality was uh more in tune to to the reason why he, uh, uh he was chosen to have that uh, miraculous kaiju power then hopefully to save humanity like in uh here's what in One Punch Man, if you watch One Punch Man, spoilers, uh, I recommend it. But in One Punch Man, there's I really love a uh, Moomin Rider. Like Moomin Rider, out of everyone, knows he's uh, weak. He's uh, not powerful. He knows that uh, he should quit his job, but he still continues to do it because he loves it. And uh, when he was about to, like, uh, real, I don't know if he was about to die or not, but Saitama, the main character. Uh, one punch man came to save him and just like kafka he congratulated him because he knew that he he tried his best and that's why you know i uh oh gosh i'm like uh, getting teary i think about it i i think uh you know i i really like uh, shinomiya not not as a wife or anything but just as a, another human being that uh, she tries so hard and uh she doesn't get like uh credit you know but uh, that's the thing about uh, Christ and the Lord that, uh, you know, your efforts are really seen from uh, from your creator. Like, that's all that is. Like, give everything to your creator, to the Lord, to the Lord of the heavens and earth, heaven and earth. And uh, it's just amazing. So, yeah, like... Uh, <clears throat> 
like uh and here what I also love about uh, Kafka is that he he has a goal like while the other people are inspired by uh uh Ashiro Mina the captain I just copy the captain like uh they were inspired by the captain but sometimes even that captain requires saving and I think that's what Kafka is trying to like his reason for being wanting to be next to her, like uh, side by side, like uh, just to have each other's backs. That's uh, really amazing, and I'm crying again. But uh, like, uh, like in in the My Hero Academia, um, that's it's pretty long now, but I still recommend watching it. But yes, so spoilers, like uh, like All Might uh, doesn't become the number one hero anymore, and the Vezer becomes number two. And while Endeavor might not be the best parent, he uh, his uh, vision was to keep on chasing after All Might, even if it seemed pointless, because he knew that uh, he he doesn't want uh, All Might to uh, feel alone. I guess like uh, just just himself trying to save the world. I think that's what I also find in. Uh, Kaiju Eight. That uh, what Kafka is doing is, is kind of similar, but uh, yeah, that's it. Um, I mean, not it. Let's see. Let's actually go. So I did One Punch Man. I did Endeavor, Humble, Humanity, Divine Timing, Human Perfection. Oh, Christ Leadership and Jonathan. So, if you don't know in the story of the Bible, Jonathan is like the best friend of David, and uh, I just I find that uh, to Kafka. His best friend is uh, uh, Ichikawa Reno. Reno, I mean. But, uh, and I say this because uh, I like how uh, Hoshina, the vice captain, I think, um, he says there's only two people who can acquire, like, I guess, this really prestige. And that was, uh, what was it? I think it was Shinomiya. And then he mentioned. Uh, Reno, and I think that was in episode six. Let me see if I can find it. It's only six ep. I mean, I only watched six ep six episodes, so hopefully, uh, I can find it. Yeah. Um. Uh. Let's see. Uh. Reno. 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 I don't know. Like, uh, I might not be able to find it. Uh, mm, right here, or not here, but I could have sworn that the vice captain mentioned him. Um, yeah, I see. I need to get stronger so senpai won't have to transform. See, and I, that's what I love about uh, you know the whole divine timing, uh, God's blessing, and uh, just how everything fits together because like David's friend was uh, really close and dear to him and uh, they I, they were they formed a very close bond for the right reasons and i think also here in Kaiju 8 um what's his, what's his name again yeah Reno Ichikawa like he like he he found he finds like he's not he's not uh He's also, in a way, like, uh, in the same, like, core, I guess, motives as Kafka. Like, not really the same, but I mean, like, first, he, he didn't uh, expose Kafka. But second, like, uh, he, he's more motivated, more motivated to work, uh, to uh, really uh, get better. Not to impress or anything, but so that he can, because he cares about uh, Kafka, that so that he won't transform. And I think that's really a big deal because, like, it, it's kind of like how uh, I guess again from what I mean, not one punch man, uh, from uh, from uh, what was it? Oh yeah, my hero academy, academia, like Endeavor is uh, trying to catch up to the number one hero spot. And just, uh, gosh, I wish I could find the, uh, I hope the vice captain said something. Like, uh, uh, let's see. I don't know if I can find it. I wish I could, or 
Oh wait, no, that's not it. Yeah, that's not it. Uh, um, let's see. I don't know. Really Stand beside Roger. Uh, with the hundreds of stuff. Like binoculars. I'm not a boys. Um. Hmm. Yeah, see, why can't I keep up with him? Let's see, let's play this a bit. You have to cut. There are any more Yoju here. But yeah, see, like, when you're... I think that if you focus on God, and you focus your sights on uh, pleasing, like, pleasing and doing God's will, I think, like, well, not I think, I know. I know God will bless you in miraculous ways. I know that God will give you the strength and energy and perseverance to outlast any mortal idol that they worship. Like, I really do think the truth will win in the end, because that's just logic. The truth always wins. So I think if you have your vision really high up there with God, that, uh, like, uh, you don't... People will notice, I, I guess you would say, like... Uh, uh, and I don't mean like, oh, I should be, I should praise God and stuff so that people can praise me. But no, like, uh, it's it's like in a way you're focusing on God, and you, which means you focus on yourself to please God. So the only one you're comparing and surpassing is uh, your own self to fulfill God, if that makes sense. Um, let's see if I can find... Uh, um, hear the alarm. Uh, oh yeah, see, this is a, this is an anomaly. So not only the anomaly of a kaiju eight, but the anomaly of an intelligent kaiju, and uh, you know, it just everything works so great uh, in God's timing that uh, it shouldn't uh, like you really shouldn't worry. Like there were there. Were, there will be a time, and like you said, like, uh, Kafka is, like, 32 or 33, like, uh, and, uh, like, I can relate, I mean, not relate, but I remember the, the, I don't know if it was the, like, Ray Kroc from McDonald's, I think, uh, wait, no, not Ray Kroc, I think it was KFC, let me check, I think it was KFC that, uh, how old was, how old was KFC. Mm. Yeah, so he founded the famous brand at the age of 62. Yeah. So, yeah. When he turned 40. But, uh, yeah, like, uh, it just, uh, I don't really eat KFC, but uh, I just find that at any age, God can still use you while you still have, uh, while you still have His breath, like while you still have breath in your lungs while you're still alive. So don't age. I'm not gonna say age is just a number. I'm I'm gonna say like age does not matter to God. If the, if uh, well that's logic, but because God goes beyond time and space and everything, and you can't really measure God, so. Uh, yeah, it's just uh, if you're if you're young, if you're old, if you're in the middle, like God will use you. And uh, I think uh, Kaiju Eight is a really great anime. Uh, uh, yeah, like uh, you know, uh, Mina, like they. I think that's it. So yeah. Oh yeah. Uh, so I guess I forgot the advice, that suggestion. Um, like I said, I, I only do this because I, I, uh, I don't really feel like, like, I just love sharing the gospel, I guess. I love sharing my thoughts on Jesus Christ and just the, uh, the Father, God in general. But, uh, if you have, uh, you know, if you want to do something like what I'm doing, like, feel free to do, like, uh. I, I don't care about uh, 
if uh, people know me. I just care about the message. And I can't wait to watch a uh, Christian anime podcast when I'm finished with the anime and see what they have to say. Um, but uh, here's one idea I thought. So um, maybe maybe you want to do this thing and uh, you want to, like, uh, maybe you're thinking, oh, but David, I... I'm not really great at sharing the gospel. I do have thoughts, but uh, I share it anyway. It's uh, you know, we're 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 our duty is to share the gospel and uh, make disciples for all from all the nations. So if if uh, if you feel if you if you want to do this, I I think go ahead. Um, and maybe you're a more critical thinker. I know there's not a more optimistic thinker, but if you're like, uh, oh, this does not correlate to the Word of God, then you can make like a video saying, oh, how Kaiju 8 is not Christian. Or maybe you can say how uh, Girls Band Cry is not Christian. And uh, I think that will, they will be okay. Um, but like I said, uh, I don't know. Like, like I, I'm focusing step by step. Um, I don't really feel led to or called to do this. I just, uh, I just want to do it because I think I have. I, uh, I just want to share my thoughts on God and uh, Christianity in general. Um, but I've, my my walk with God is only like three years, so I haven't been. Uh, long in the I mean long with my walk with God um, so if you have more experience like uh, um, there's a famous uh, advice from uh, I forgot uh, I think it was from Alan Parr from The Beat um, like uh, you have a career and calling um, sometimes your career doesn't match your calling. Like, your career will do stuff that that helps you fulfill your calling. Um, I won't share what my uh, spiritual calling is, because I really do think that's my spiritual calling, and that's m between me and God. Uh, but this is, like, uh, just in my side. Like, uh, because we're still all called as Christians to make disciples. I think this is a great way to really penetrate that, uh, I guess, expose more people to the wonderful uh, world of Christianity. And, uh, yeah, I mean, uh, like you said, if uh, I don't, like, yeah, I just, uh, I just want to share, to be honest. Um, yeah. Because uh, I do share, like, my... My current career is being a student and really graduating. Like, I'm still a student currently. And uh, I much prefer being a student than having a full-time job. Um, that's just me. Like, uh, I have everything I need in Christ, so I don't really need a lot of money. Or I don't really need money, to be honest. I'll just, like, uh, so I, I won't get into my personal story, but uh, I just, uh, yeah. That's it. Uh, how long has I been talking? Uh, 28 minutes. Oh, wow. That's my long... I think that's my longest yap yap. Um, but that's it. Um, that's the first six episodes of uh, Kaiju 8. Um, thanks for watching. Um, I, I might finish the anime uh, today or tomorrow. It depends. But it's a great anime. Um... I guess if uh, recommendations, if they're like, uh, let's see the recommendations. Uh, AOT, yeah, I do see it as an AOT. Um, yeah, uh, what was this? Uh, Parasite Maximum, I do see that. Jujutsu Kaisen, yeah, I see the correlation there. Chainsaw Man, um, I did not finish World Trigger. Fire Force, I can see that. God Eater. But uh, for me, I personally, if I had to recommend, I would go with One Punch Man. Um, but it's already recommended by uh, Ridz, Ridzaxter. So, yeah. 
Inuyashiki. Oh yeah, Inuyashiki. Uh, yeah, that's also a great anime. But uh, yeah, um, I wish I could talk more. Um, but if you made it this far, uh, thank you for watching, and uh, have a great night, day. Um, may your week be blessed. Thank you for watching. Testing, testing. Um, hello again. Uh, this is Post David. Just not long. I'm just reviewing my video. Um, normally I take do this in one take, but uh, I really feel like this is also important to the concept of Christianity. So I just uh, here's my past recording. Um, well, not past record. Well, you're watching this now, but here's the post. I guess I forgot to mention uh, Christ leadership. Uh, this one. So. Uh, you know, like, uh, well, not you know, I keep doing you know, but uh, another thing is that, like, uh, gosh, now I have to edit this video, kind of, kind of sucks, to be honest, <laughs> because now I have to put two videos together, which is, it's okay, it's just that I normally prefer one takes, well, it's whatever, but anyways, Christ leadership, so, it's interesting because, like, if you're if you're being led, if uh, if you end up being in a leadership position, and normally, uh, normally uh, the Lord will put you in places where you can move mountains, and don't uh, if you're a non-Christian. Like, don't be intimidated if they're a, if you have a Christian leader because Christian leaders, like like I mean I won't say Kafka is a Christian leader. I mean, the Christ-like qualities in Kafka is basically treating, uh, love your neighbor as yourself. So even if uh, us Christians are put in a leadership position, you shouldn't be intimidated. You shouldn't be jealous because, like soldiers, we really care about you. Like, we will literally sacrifice our lives for the greater good. We've already sacrificed our lives for Jesus Christ. So, it's just that concept that, uh, I guess, uh, Christ will exalt the meek and humble. So, it's really nice to have uh, Christ-centered leaders that, uh, because they really care about humanity. They really care about other people. So, that's why I really like when Kafka comforted uh, Shinomiya because uh, Shinomiya, yeah from the outside looking in people think uh, Shinomiya will make a great leader and it's quite the opposite for Kafka. Kafka from the outside looking in people will think he'll, he'll never be a leader but by the grace of God and by the power of the kaiju within him he he's, he's like one of the last stand for humanity i guess you can say i don't know how the anime will end and what will happen in the future but uh i like to think that yeah be don't be intimidated by christ's leadership don't be intimidated by christians like we have a bad reputation for our we're bugging people about the the gospel and christ but just know that we come from uh from i guess you can say like uh uh a heart like a a heart full of love that is overabundant that is just wanting to share the love to others so they can experience the overabundance of love from christ and lord jesus but uh yeah, like, uh, that's just the extra I wanted to put. So, uh, like I said, Kaiju 8 is a really great anime. Uh, and, it, and especially when you put it in a Christian perspective. So just really, yeah, just, uh, like, I want to say, and just like also the message to Christian leaders, you know, that uh, don't let pride, don't let sin take over you. You were there because of God. Don't ever boast about your achievements or anything always be humble always thank god always pray always consult wise counsel from other christians but yeah see it's a 
it's really nice system that God created for us in uh, to really advance his, kin his kingdom. And that's all I have to say. I really hope, I'm praying, I don't, like, as I review my video, I didn't forget anything else. But I, I can't believe I forgot that in my first take. Um, I'm still not going to edit it. I'm not, still not going to cut out a lot of things. So this might be, a, this is like 30 minutes, so like, really like 40 minutes or something. I don't know. Let's see. Yeah, 30, 35. Anyways, uh. This is recording number two finished. Thank you for watching again.